Star Family. I hope you guys are doing well. If you're new here, my name is Petra and welcome to Rockin' with the Stars. We are so happy to have you join the Star Family because we are what? Blessed and highly favored over here. And if you believe that as well, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And also share to all the people you know are blessed and highly favored. All right, now let's get right into it with this pick a card reading. I hope you guys have been having a a great week so far um, and if you aren't I'm sending all the love to you right now so there can be a whole transition into a better ending of the week I should say because it is Wednesday you know and it's Wednesday sometimes it can start off rocky and then towards the end of the week it gets better so if you aren't having a good uh, week starting off sending my love your, your way even if you are having a good week I'm sending my love your way as well all right, but before we get into the pick a card and seeing what card, you know, resonates with you and what card is speaking to you right now, I do have to say for this for this pal group, I'm I just want to speak on how I'm I've been feeling like, you know, how all of these different animals, all of these different these different spirit animals, they all talk about flying. They all talk about either soaring or um swimming, you know, cuz it's either or. Um, with these two but in this pal group I can see how the collective is you know and me just saying transitioning like this is a phase of transformation of transitioning from shedding the old and then welcoming in welcoming in the new so I just want to start off by saying that this is what I'm getting from these cards and obviously with each different pals I will elaborate more in depth but I just want to say that I'm proud of you guys and I'm right there with you guys in transitioning and learning and unlearning and relearning you know and yes it can be hard it can feel like it's heavy it can feel like a lot but just like a butterfly in this pile just like this butterfly that's in this pile it's hard to break out of that cocoon, but you still have to do it, okay? And if you're tuning in to this reading now, you're already one step closer into stepping out of the cocoon. If not, you're already out of that cocoon, and now you're just like, what's next, okay? So now I want to, let's get into it. I don't want to talk for too long. So here are all the pals. This is pal one, this is pal two, and this is pal three. And for pal one, it says the swan and it talks about grace. And it says, you who glides across the waters of my soul, bring me your wisdom and light. Help me transform into elegance and grace. Inspire me with dignity and the spirit of beauty. All right. So if that message resonates for you, then you are pal one. Now for pal two, it says the butterfly. And this talks about rebirth. It says you can reinvent yourself. Open to the rewards of change. You have brilliance to share with the world. Love every part of your journey. All right, if that message resonates for you, then you are pound number two. Now for pound number three, it is the goose, and that is all about your inner knowing. It says, you are a brave traveler. Your soul knows the way. Be confident you will achieve your destination. Loyal friends are always with you. Don't worry, you are blessed. Let yourself fly. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get into our silent meditation. Like I said, go ahead and use your third eye and choose whatever pal is speaking to you, whether it's from the timestamps below regarding like the numbers and stuff like that. If that speaks to you, click down the um, description and see which number is speaking to you or calling out to you. Or is that for you like visually, you know? or just the, the spirit animal itself, or the message, whatever speaks to you, trust your inner knowing, trust your gut, and follow um, whichever pal is speaking to you. And if you are having a hard time choosing with your intuition, you can always go on Google and do like a pick a, a, a random pal number, and or a random number picker, and it'll pick whatever pile for you. I know it can be hard to use your intuition, so that can always be the last option for you guys. But now, I'm done with the rambling, so if you want to skip the silent meditation, go ahead and pick the pile. If not, the silent meditation starts now. I'll see y'all later.
All right, hello, pal number one. So you chose a swan and this talks about grays, all right? The message for you guys says, you who glides across the waters of my soul, bring me your wisdom and light. Help me transform into elegance and grace. Inspire me with dignity and the spirit of beauty. So before I even get into the full details on what the swans are all about, I do want to channel real quick and see what I'm getting for this um, card um so yeah so it already talks about you transforming so whether that is you guys have been currently going through like a shadow work and a death and rebirth so it's like transforming um the negative energy into new positivity and new birth of light so that you guys may be going through this right now so now um Spirit is saying that you guys need to use your elegance and use your grace because you got to this point. You got to your elegance and grace by going through the thick of the mud. You know, you got you went through the thick of it and now it's time for you to channel and um, transmute. Now it's time for you guys to transmute that negative energy into positivity, into light. So that's what I'm getting for you guys. Um, and also just looking at the swan so swan talks about love you know so you guys may be um in union with your uh divine partnerships and that can be in friendships and actual love relationships so that may be coming in if it's not already here at this moment so that's what i'm getting from this card in itself so if you guys have been seeing a lot of swans lately that talks about like soul mate or soul tribe um union as well so you do have to know that you have to be that light. You have to heal yourself in order to welcome in that kind of energy. So I think that's what you guys are, have been doing lately, pal number one, in order to call in your divine partner, partnership and your soul tribe, all right? But let, let's get into it. Let's see what it says for the swan. All right, so swan says love, beauty, grace, majestic, self-worth, Mystery, purity, angels, journey, transformation, intuition, partnership, fidelity, integrity, and creativity. It says, Swan is a creature of such grace. It is regarded as one of the most beautiful in the animal kingdom. But Swan's story does not start that way. They are the ultimate symbol for change as they morph from clumsy signet to majestic swan. Swans remind us that we too can transform from awkward youth to mature beauty and grace. When Swan glides across, the still waters of your dreams. It is bringing you gifts of harmony, intuition, faith, and wisdom. Swans connect us to the realm of angels. In Celtic myth, swans represented the descent of the gods to earth. White swans are cleansing and purifying. Black swans unveil the deeper mysteries within. If swan is your totem, these stories and truths dwell in you. You are a faithful mate and parent. You love travel and will go to far away places. Your life will be a continuous series of change as you ascend to higher levels. You may have trials and challenges, but they are here to help you become better. Flow with the currents of life and follow your swan's enduring light. Angels' wings surround you, lifting you upward to become the self-realized being you were meant to be. Contrary, are you stuck in the muck? Release negative thinking. Avoid critical self-talk. Keep away from toxic people who do not acknowledge your worth. Release negativity to return to the light and to peace. All right. So pile number one, like I literally just said, like how a swan transformed from like, um, what's coming to mind is, you know, like with the ugly duckling, the story of the ugly duckling, literally everybody was talking mess about him. He was, I don't even know it was a he or she, it was just a duck. <laughs> so it doesn't even need to put a gender on it, but literally, um, the ugly duckling went through all of that, um, hardships and those trials of being the clumsy one, being the oddball out, being the black sheep of the family. And until later, like 
the duckling transform into a beautiful, I think it was a swan, into a beautiful swan um, or just something more beautiful, I should say. I don't, I need to rewatch the movie or even listen to the story. But yeah, so pile number one, it literally says like, yes, your, your story did not start off as beautiful as you may have looked either physically or energetically, but you know, you chose to do the inner healing. You chose to not allow your struggles be who you identify as, you know? You do not identify as your struggles or your hardships or your trials. No, you don't identify as the victim. You identify as the person who is continuously evolving and growing and transmuting whatever happened to them into light, you know, you identify as a being of light, you know, and you choose on a daily to continue to do and be light, you know, do the things that bring you light, do the things that bring others light and joy and happiness so that that can be the change that you wish you saw when you were younger, when you were going through those trials and tribulations. So pile number one, I love this for you because I definitely heavily resonate um, with this as well. And I want to say like, good for you guys. Okay. Like it takes a lot to transmute negativity into positive, you know, um, into positive energy because a lot of people that is in the world currently, it's hard for them to transmute these negative negative um, energy. It's hard for them to not identify with their struggles and not identify with the pain that they have to endure, you know, because they're still stuck in, you know, struggle mentality. They're still stuck in victim mentality and all of these different things. Um, because it's, it's trauma, you know, that's what it is. And if this is still you, pal number one, know that you will get on the other end of this and you will come out the beautiful, elegant, graceful swan that you guys are. Okay. And that's what I want to tell you guys. You know, I know how hard it can be to transmute negativity into positivity, but know that you doing this work and you doing the healing work, it will not be in vain. It's not for nothing. It will get better. You know, the change that you wish to see starts with you. So in order for you to see that, you do have to be that change. You do have to be that light. And then everybody around you will see how you are the light. And then that would change your surroundings. That would change the whole narrative of you being the victim, of you constantly struggling, and of you constantly trying to survive in this world. You won't have to survive anymore. You will just be. And that's a beautiful thing to be. That's a beautiful place to be. And I love that. All right, pile number one. And also right now I'm thinking about, because right now I've been watching Jenny and Georgia and it just, like, I just love that show. Like, I've been watching that lately and um, I'm not going to get into the whole gist of it, but um, Jenny and Georgia, Jenny is the daughter of Georgia and they have a a very different dynamic, but it's because the mom, Georgia, had to constantly survive in order to give Jenny, her daughter, um, the best life that she never got, you know? So she had to get into the thick of it. She had to do these, you know, grandiose things. And granted, you know, the, the things weren't great, but like you can just see how she really tried and she's still constantly trying, even though she has like these... um nights where she she isn't able to go to sleep because of her past is haunting her because of all the things that she had to do in order to survive, you know? But she did this out of love and it was out of her way of love, out of the love that she never got as a child, you know, like whether it was like from her parents, you know, her parents were both, both like, you know, drug addicts and they just weren't there in her life. So literally she had to take her her she had to take the wheel of the car and she was just like, I'm, I'm the care. I'm the main character. I have to do what I got to do, you know? So I feel like you guys, pile number one, have been in that boat where you have to do what you have to do in order to survive this world, you know? And it may look like, oh, it may look like you turn out to be the villain in somebody else's story, but it just is what it is. You know, it's not about how other people view you. It's about, 
you and your story and about what are you going to do next? Are you going to continue making this story or are you going to make a change? You know, we are transforming. So you have to transform into a better version of yourself. And that's not a state of you constantly surviving this world. And I just want to say, Paul, number one, you're going to get it. And if you are already on this path, congratulations to you. Okay. Like I'm giving you your flowers now. All right, but let's let's get into your cards. Let's see what spirit has to tell you guys. What else spirit needs to tell you guys? Let me shuffle this real quick. All right, spirit, what else does pile number one need to hear? Y'all are warriors of light, and I'm here for that. All right, spirit, what does pile number one need to hear? What does pile number one need to hear right now? Oops. Okay, so four cards wanted to come out today, and I'm going to take them all. So the first card that we have is number seven, and it says, trust what you need is there. With love, all can be accomplished. All right, pile number one. So spirit is already coming through again, telling you, you have everything that you need. All you need is trust, you know? You do not need to have the lack mentality, the victim mentality, the struggle mentality, or even the mentality that you have to go through pain in order to get what you need. You already have everything that you need. With love, all can be accomplished. Know that you are love, regardless of your past, regardless of how ugly it got. That is not the now. That is not the present. You are love. Now it's time for you to know that you are love and move with love. Okay, pile number one. And then the next message that comes out is card number nine. And this says, you are the breath. Listen and connect to your intuition. So pile number one, you guys are intuitive. Okay, so now it's time for you to trust your abilities. And in order for you to do that, it's for you to know yourself and get to know your abilities. And um, what's been coming up heavily for me as well is meditation. And what I literally just found on TikTok that helped me. And I was just like, oh my goodness, this actually helps me because I be telling and I be giving people advice on meditation and I'm like what is a what is an easier way for me to like remember one to meditate more often and I'm gonna tell you guys this advice that I learned on TikTok literally a few days ago and they were saying that um she was saying to put your fingers like like you're touching your fingers and then like you know in circular motion so you can feel the ridges of your fingers and as you do this like take notice of how the your fingers feel and the ridges and that's like you doing this constantly whether you do it for 10 seconds a minute or whatever the case may be throughout the day it proves because you're proof like you're bringing your your brain awareness to this pinpoint and as minute as it is, it's actually like helping your brain make you be more aware in different times. And as you do it multiple times a day, it trains your muscle and your brain to be more aware at like with the minute de details. She explained it a lot better, but hopefully you guys are able to catch my drift when I'm talking about this. So I've been doing that lately and I'm like, oh my goodness. So she was saying that it's proven that it helps even just as much as it, it does with meditating, you know? So I said, I can definitely do this, you know? So in my spare time, like I just do it. Like when I just think like, oh, meditation pops up, I just think to like do it now, you know? So I can focus on being present and feeling the ridges of my fingers and and with that, doing that multiple times a day, um, whether it's for 10 seconds, 30 seconds, however many seconds or minutes, you know, that's another trick in order to, in a sense, replace meditation, like actually like sitting down. But regardless, if 
that's that's something that you can do throughout the day. But, you know, it can help to even breathe, do those breath, you know, breath work and actually take a deep breath sometimes. If you feel like yourself is getting like really, really stressed out and stuff, take that moment. Um, if you're at work, go to the restroom and just like take a deep breath. You know, sometimes we need that. You know, like sometimes we need that because, you know, life can get so it can get so intense to the point where you just lose your groundedness. And sometimes we need that breath in order to keep us grounded. Um, or if not, we would just be on autopilot. All right. But now the, the next card that came out is the card number 31. And that talks about embracing the dark and shine your true light upon this world. So it says embrace the dark. So pile number one here, like literally talking about you guys being in this darkness, you know, how your past has been uh, just a past of darkness, of hurt, of pain, of, you know, neglect, of abandonment, you know, whatever the case may be for your past, you know, it's time to embrace it because like I say all the time, you know, with that yin and yang, with the, you know, with the light and shadow, there's, you can't have one without the other. You have to know darkness in order to know what light is and vice versa. You know, you have to see the difference. You know, if we came here and everything was all light, we would take that for granted. We wouldn't, we would think like, oh, this is all that there is, you know? And it's just like, no, there is darkness in order for you to realize that this is light. And I feel like spirit is saying like, you are stepping into light at this time. And I feel like more people are afraid of their lightness instead of the darkness that they've been living in because the darkness that they've been living in has become such a normal thing where they don't trust anybody. They build up this wall and it's just like, no, you are stepping in light. And I know it's scary. I know it's something that you have to trust. You know, you have to trust the process and you don't know where this path is going to lead you. But I know that, know that it's literally on the other side of the rainbow. And I literally channeled this song today and I was singing, what was, what is it? Oh yeah, it's somewhere over the rainbow, way up high. And I don't know all the rest of the song or the lyrics, okay? But I was channeling that song today and I just started singing it. And it's just like, yes, yeah, like... It's time for you to reach on the other side of the rainbow. Like, it's time for you to see the rainbow and know that it's not a trick. Know that nobody is out there trying to play a prank on you. Like, no, you are reaching that other end of that rainbow and you're walking into that light. And it's time for you to embrace all of you. And that includes the light and shadow because they all have to come with you on the other side of that rainbow. All right. And it's time for you to shine a light upon this world, you know, because you are a light warrior and it's time for you to be a beacon of light in order to help people, in order to help guide people back home, you know, because that's where we're here. That's where, why we're here on earth. Okay. And then the last card that came out is the card number 39. And it says, spend time on you. Balance yourself. Okay. I literally just talked about, you know, the yin and the yang energy. And I was saying that talks about balancing, you know, with the light and, a sh and the shadow aspects of yourself. It's balancing, you know. And I feel like we do have a hard time balancing because we're always, one, judging, you know, oh, this is good or this is bad. And it's just like, no, we're more gray than anything. Okay. We are human beings. We're more gray than anything. Anything. We have a past, you know, and the past is not always pretty, you know, so it's like it's time for us to embrace ourselves, spend time on ourselves to get to know ourselves, get to know our light aspects and get to know our shadow aspects so we can all be together in one union with ourselves. OK, pile number one. So now let's see what else spirit has to tell you guys. OK, all right, spirit, what does pile number one need to hear? A lot of cards have been popping up today. Let me see. Okay. 
All right, so we got three cards. So the first card that came out says, I will exhale all that weighs me down. Pile number one, once again, about breath work, you know, literally sometimes you got to take that time to breathe and ground yourself when all of these things in life that stresses you out come to the forefront. That's what it's time for you to, for you to do. Spirit has been calling you to do that because it's just needed, okay? And I saw 29, 29 on the clock, okay? So you guys may be seeing a lot of synchronicities lately. All right, and it says, the next one that came out, it says, I am creating a life I love. Literally a reminder, pound number one, you guys are, you guys are the creator of your story. It's time for you to take the driver's seat and navigate what you would like to create. What would you like to manifest into your reality? Okay, your thoughts create your reality. If you think that you're always a victim, if you think that you're always, that you always have to struggle, then that will be what will come to your reality. It's time for you to create a life that you love. Think of the things that you love. Think of the things that you would, that you wish to see and let that create your reality. Okay, pound number one. And the last card that came out, it says, I have so much to offer the world. Okay, your potential is infinite, pound number one. It's time for you to believe that, okay? The world needs to see that. The world needs to see you. I just saw 333 on the clock. It's time for you to step out and show out, okay? Now, let's see what else Spirit wants to tell you guys. Let's see. All right, Spirit, what does pile number one need to hear? And I do want to say I am going to pull angel... Um, an angel card. So if you guys have any questions, go ahead and think about it right now and we'll pull that for you guys. Okay. So whatever question regarding a person, place or thing, you know, I know we're in a transitioning period. So if you do have a question regarding something, go ahead and ask. So we'll, we'll see what's, what your angels say. All right, Spirit, what else does pound number one need to hear? I think that's all I want to take. All right. Let's move this down. Let's see. All right. So first card that came out is a nine of wands, then the seven of pentacles, and then the world card. Power number one. Look at this. Look at this spread. Okay. Like, yes. Speaking of nine of wands, let's start off with the nine of wands. You guys may have a lot of fire energy in your chart. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, you know literally with the line at the back but not only that it's just all the passion you know i feel like it's time for you guys to step into your power it's time for you to beat on those drums like do things that bring you passion that brings you joy that brings you peace that brings you happiness it's time for you to step into your authentic self and not care about who has a say like it's not about them it's about you and what lights your fire up okay pile number one it's time for you to step into your power and with the seven of pentacles coming up it talks about literally saying creating the life that you love seven of pentacles all the seeds that he's planted through over the years it's time for you to put your your energy towards those seeds so it can grow. You are an alchemist, okay? It's time for you, you know, to utilize your abilities. By you transmuting all the negative into positivity, it's time for you to put all that energy and put that towards the seeds that you that you wish to see grow, okay? You want to manifest a reality that you love. So it's time for you to put action towards it. Like I said with the yin and yang, you know, you can't just sit down and wish upon a star or pray about it you have to take those actions and take those steps yourself be the change that you wish to see and take action in order to bring these things into fruition so that's why the seven of pentacles come in and with the world card literally you are the creator and i know it's a woman on here but 
regardless of the gender, you know, male or female, take it how it resonates. You are the creator, okay? You can bring whatever you wish to see into this reality with no limitations, okay? Don't listen to anybody else outside of you that don't see your vision. You got the vision. It's time for you to birth all these ideas that you placed in the past. All these ideas. Look at these ideas that you had, that you had buried over the years because everybody didn't see your vision. But it's like, it's not for them to see. Don't put your glasses on somebody else for them to see because they're not going to be able to see it. It's time for you to believe in your vision because you got the sight. Okay, pile number one. And if that's that was the clarification that you need, I mean, hey, I'm glad to be that person that, that was able to remind you. But Spirit is saying now is a time. There's no retrogrades happening with the planets. Like Spirit said, go. It's time for you to go ahead and go and believe in yourself. Now, if you do have a question, go ahead and think of that question or pause the video if you need to. I'm going to allow your angels to go ahead and give you an answer, okay? So, Spirit, answer whatever question my um, pile number one needs to hear right now, okay? All right. So, I think I want to get one more. All right. There you go. That flipped on out. So, the first card, the first card that came out says within the next few months, okay? And... Then we got to know. Okay, so I what I'm getting right now is just not the right time in order for you to rush anything, but it will be the right time. And with spirit, like spirit never says no. It's just not now or it's like in the process. Okay, so that's why I want you to say. So whatever came to mind regarding a friendship, regarding a relationship, regarding a job, whatever the case may be, it's not the right time for you to just, you know, say to hell with it, you know, right now. But within the next few months during this transitioning period because like I said pile number one this whole the whole piles that I'm going to talk about is all about transitioning during this period you guys will be learning and growing and processing new things so it's not the right time for you to just you know cut your ties with any person place or thing at the moment but within the next few months it will be time so all right, pound number one, but that is all I have for you guys today. If this message resonates, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe, and also share it to anybody you feel may need to hear this message right now. I will see you guys next time. Y'all stay flowing, glowing, and growing. Bye! Hello, pound number two. All right, so you guys chose the butterfly, and that speaks on rebirth, okay? It says, you can reinvent yourself, open to the rewards of change you have brilliance to share with the world love every part of your journey so before I get into it you know and give you guys more details about the um about the butterfly I do want to say this talks about you you guys stepping out of your cocoon you guys are transforming you guys are in a period of metamorphosis okay and yes that can get ugly that can hurt that can you know shedding all of this and breaking out of this shell it can be a lot at this time and i do want to send my love to you guys because we are all going through this transition i feel like the whole world the earth is literally all going through this transition and I just want us all to have compassion and grace for each other as we go through this process. Because like I said, you know, you guys are in a season of reinventing yourself. So things that no longer worked in the past, it's time for you to think of new ideas and time for you guys to, you know, believe in those ideas so you guys can reinvent yourself because spirit is always going to bring you those insights. Like, I don't think this is working, but try this way. And maybe this will get the message across, or maybe you stepping into this position at your job will, will better equip you for the next things that are going to be coming into your life. All right. So don't think of it like, oh, like I sh this is not working. So I'm just going to give up. No, is this is not working. Let's see what what can work, you know. So 
pile number two, like you have brilliance to share with the world. It's time for you to believe in yourself and believe that you will turn out okay. Just because things aren't working out in your favor at this moment doesn't mean that it won't happen, that it won't work out in the future, okay? You have everything that you need to succeed. All you need to do is believe in yourself and believe in your abilities and know that by you reinventing yourself, that will bring in more blessings and more fulfillment that you deserve, okay? So now let's see what the message says for you guys, pile number two. Let's see what it says about the butterflies. So you guys might have been seeing a lot of butterflies lately, you know, um, and that speaks on death and rebirth, you know. So a death of yourself, your old self, the old version of yourself that no longer works anymore, and you stepping into a season of you being your authentic self, okay, pile number two. So watch out for those butterflies because they are here. All right, so now, so the butterfly, it says new beginnings, higher planes, rebirth, transformation, prosperity, personal growth, bliss, love, and grace. If butterfly has fluttered into your awareness, know that change is in the air. If you see butterfly in your garden, expect new opportunities for prosperity and friendship. Butterflies bring beauty and color to life, but it doesn't always start that way. Butterfly asks us to be patient with ourselves and to consider life's chapters, which are caterpillar, cocoon, emerging, and flight. For butterfly people, the stage of beginning, struggle, birthing, and completion must be viewed as one cycle of experience. This is butterfly's law of progression. Relate this law to your daily activities and have faith in your future. Results will show in time. Butterfly people, remember that change is good. A new day will soon be birthed and that endings are also a beginning. If butterfly is your totem, you have grace, eloquence, and understanding. Everyone is blessed by your beauty and indomitable faith in goodness. You love the garden and flowers are your friends. You understand that happiness is found in simple things. Know that you were born to fly and that you will have many glorious days in the sun. Contrary, have you been acting like a social butterfly? Is it time to get real on relationships? Are you stuck in your cocoon? Have you lost connection to the nectar of life, which is happiness? Do not resist change. Okay, pound number two. And literally change is what's in the air right now at this time. Okay, it's time for you to welcome in this change. Okay, because change, like I say all the time, is the only thing that is literally the constant in this world. Change will always happen. You know, change is inevitable. So it's time for you to welcome the change and just allow the change to happen because this change will be for your own good. You know, literally, like they talk about the stages of the butterfly from the caterpillar, like all the whole vision of the caterpillar was just to eat as much as it, as much as it can. Okay. It didn't even think about the end goal, but now that it transformed and went through the co cocoon and was in a tight space, I'm sure it was very uncomfortable for the cater caterpillar to be in that state. You know, you know, it felt like the like the walls were just closing in and it was just very uncomfortable. But as the cocoon breaks open and a butterfly comes out, I'm sure this is why a, a caterpillar will continuously go through this process because it's a, it's a beautifully painful process. And that's just like, you know, change is in this human world. You know, it literally is. It is a beautiful process. You know, you're going to have the good, the bad and the ugly, but that all comes with change. That all comes with a cycle. And so pile number two, you guys may be ending a cycle right now. And if you do know, are you aware like with numerology? and you know your personal year number um you guys guys might be on a personal year number nine or heading into a personal year number one and with the nine that ends the cycle the personal year cycle and if you're heading into a personal year one like this is your year one then you guys have already like done the reflection of how those old cycles are closing out those old ties have been closing out and stuff and now you're walking 
walking into a new beginning, you know, and now you're seeing where I'm aligning with and who I need to be aligned with and who I want surrounding me in this period. So yes, it can be scary to not know where this path is going to lead you, but I know it's going to turn out beautiful in the end. And it's time for you to trust and allow and surrender spirit to guide you to where you will get to your fulfillment. You know, sometimes we have to let go of that will and allow spirit to change, to change us, to change our surroundings, to change the narrative, you know, because I talked to pound number one about leaving that narrative of being a victim mentality or being abandoned um, and of the mentality of you always having to struggle. And it's just like, no, you're blooming, you're blossoming, you're stepping into the light. So if that message resonates, go ahead and listen to pile number one, because I did go di dive deeper into that and giving them that affirmation that it's time. You are ready. You are ready to shine. You are ready to step into your greatness. It's time for you to trust and believe that in yourself. Okay, pile number two. So now let's see what else spirit has to tell you guys. All right, pile number two. Let's see what message comes out for you guys. Spirit, what does pile number two need to hear at this time? What does pile number two need to hear at this time? Please and thank you. All right. <clears throat> All right. So the first card that came out is a card number four. And like I said, you guys, pile number two, I'm already seeing the synchronicities in itself. So you guys might be saying two to two, two a lot or 22, or even 444, okay? And it says, stay the course. You are moving in the right direction. So, pile number two, if you guys have been um, confused lately and just like, I don't know if I'm on the right path or like questioning everything and questioning everybody surrounding you or just questioning um, the career that you're in, Spirit is saying, stay the course, keep going. You are on the right path. You are moving forward and that's all that matters. And you're moving in the right direction, okay? So that's that confirmation from Spirit. And then the next card that came out is a is card number two. Like I said, you guys might've been seeing two, two, two a lot. It says, see with your heart, the time is now to hear the messages, okay? So, what I'm getting from this is that maybe you guys have been asking external for external forces to see, you know, because if you are like confused and stuff like that, you might have friends and family or just like, you know, psychics or um, watching a lot of tarot videos and stuff like that, trying to see if you are exactly on the right path. And spirit is saying it's time for you to listen with your heart. You know, you're asking everybody around you and you're asking all these external people for validation and it's time for you to sit with yourself and ask yourself where do you like where do you want to go and where do you see yourself going only you know that answer and yes we do we psychics and you know mediums and you know <clears throat> all these healers are able to give you a glimpse of um what you need to know but they're not going to know the full thing only you do because it's all individualized so you might have to like i told pile number one it's time for you to meditate um and sit with yourself and ground yourself and ask yourself the those questions and then you will be able to hear those answers and hear those messages from spirit and spirit will show you in, in everything and signs and synchronicities from the spirit animals the birds you know from a butterfly okay look at your spirit animals ask spirit like show me a red butterfly if i'm on the right path show me a orange and black butterfly a monarch butterfly you know ask like Ask spirit to show you those signs and synchronicities and spirit will show you, okay? And then the last card that came out is the card number 10. And like I talk, tell you guys, literally what the number 10 
is number one. Like I said, if you guys are heading on to a number one cycle, that talks about new beginnings. So like you're starting a new cycle. So you're leaving that old mentality, the old version of yourself, you know, the, the friends that no longer resonate with you anymore. And you're walking into a new beginning filled with happiness, filled with fulfillment, filled with filled with people that get you and see you. All right. And it says no longer holds power over you. Dissolve attachments of the past with love. And I didn't even read the card before I even said what I said. Literally, it says like these people placing in things that no longer serves you does not have an attachment over you anymore. It doesn't hold a power over you anymore. If you're continuously keeping that like keeping this um this conduit attached to one another then it's like you're making that more difficult than it has to be so now when that disattachment happens that's going to be even more hard for you to heal from. Yes, you will still heal from it, but it will be harder for you to. Spirit is saying to let go of people, places, and things that no longer serve you. It's time, pile number two. Okay, dissolve those attachments of the past with love because they, they cannot come with you anymore. And you have to make peace with that, okay? Not everybody is gonna make it to the end goal. No matter if you stay with this person, if you've been friends with this person for five, 10 years, 20 years, some times they're not going to be with you throughout the whole entirety of your life and that's okay all right pound number two so now let's see what else spirit has to tell you guys all right spirit what does pound number two need to hear right now at this time all right what does pile number two need to hear Get one more card. Oh. All right, so we got three cards. So the first card that came out it says, "I am creating a life I love." So, like I said, if pile number one resonated, if we, you were drawn to pile number one, and you didn't listen to it. Listen, they got this same card and literally, like I told them, you are the creator of your own reality. It's time for you to take the driver's seat and create a life that you love. If you've been struggling this whole time, do you want to continue to see struggle all throughout your day? The, and if, that, if the answer is no, then it's time for you to start being intentional about the life that you want to create and the life that you want to see. Create a life that you love. And that goes for friendships, relationships, job, you know, hobbies, whatever the case may be. Create something that you love to do. All right. And the next card that comes out, it says, I find value in being myself. All right, pound number two, literally, you have to be your authentic self, okay? Nobody else outside of you knows who you are if you don't show the world your authentic self, you know? So you can't blame them if they only see one side of you or one version of you. No, you have to show up as you fully, 100%. And the people around you, whether they resonate or they don't, you will see clearly who resonates and who does not. And the people who does not resonate with you are not supposed to be on along your path. They're not supposed to resonate with you, okay? You need to be aligned with those people that see your authentic self, okay? And then the last card that came out says, I will be present in every moment, okay? Literally, like I said, pound number two, like I said, with the meditation, I talked to pile number one about that. And if meditation um, is something that's hard for you, I did learn a trick from TikTok. And she was saying to literally focus on rubbing your two fingers together. And this keeps you present, you know, by you paying attention to like how your ridges, the ridges of the finger feels and stuff like that, that keeps you present. That keeps you more aware and it trains your brain to utilize the awareness of, um, that muscle and like th that will continuously help you throughout the day. So if meditation has sometimes been hard for you, try doing this and feel the ridges of your fingers, you know, and focus on that. That keeps you present. And sometimes I've been doing this lately because, you know, meditation, it can be, you know, I feel like 
the the act of meditating isn't hard for me, but it's just the commitment of doing it continuously daily is what, you know, has been difficult for me. So I feel like doing that helps me. And it said like the studies show, like it literally has the same effect as you would as if you were meditating. And I said, okay, I can definitely do this, you know? So maybe some, that can be something that helps you guys as well. Pond number two. Okay. So now let's see what else. Let's see what else spirit has to tell for you guys, has to say for you guys. All right. All right, spirit, what does pile number two need to hear right now? All right, pile number two. Come on. I'm seeing a lot of great cards. Okay. All right. All right, let's see. Let me get these cars situated and we'll be back. All right, let's get into this. So we got the justice card to the magician to the empress, then the sun and the ten of pentacles and the ten of cups and the king of pentacles. So starting off with the justice, the magician and the empress. This talks about how the scales are being balanced. Look at the justice card coming out. So literally, like I said, pot number two, if you guys been, you know, in the past been in some days of struggling and just going through trials and tribulations, Spirit is saying now you are getting the fruits of all the things that you've gone through, you know, the fruits of your labor. Now the scales are in your favor, you know, justice stepped in and you are getting the justice that you deserve. Okay. So all the things that you've been through in the past, it was, it was not in vain. Spirit is telling you, you are going to receive the fruits of your labor. And this is what I see in this spread. You receiving the fruits of your labor by you being the magician and you being the alchemist, you know, you determining how you want your reality to be created by you being intentional. Look at the energy that he's putting into his intention. All the energy, like, I want to create this. I want to create this. That is what's going to happen. So, pound number two, spirit is saying, with the empress coming out, you know, and take it how the road, switch it, switch the roads, how, how it resonates, okay? Um, with the empress, you are the creator of your reality. Look how she's about to birth a whole new world, okay? And literally that popped in my head as well. I ain't gonna sing, but a whole new world, okay? Giving very much Aladdin. You guys are birthing a whole new world, okay? And it's time for you to be intentional about what kind of world you want to create. So spirit is saying, be intentional. You being an alchemist, you knowing that your thoughts create your reality, be intentional about what you want to come to fru fruition because it will come to fruition, okay? But... What I'm seeing in the cards is that you are, you guys have been being intentional. You guys have been, you know, being intentional about all the things that you wish to see. And look, the sun is coming out with the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. Look at this. Look at happiness. You are literally walking into the light, okay? I was just talking to pile number one about how it's time for you guys to step into the light because this is what's on the other side of the rainbow. You know, the song that, I, that came out for them was Somewhere over the rainbow, way up high. And look, this is what's over the rainbow. And look at the rainbow here, literally. Oh my goodness. So if, if this resonates, you need to go ahead and listen to pile number one, okay? Because this is what's on the other side of the rainbow. Ten of pe Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. This is family, you know, soul tribe or your actual family that you create with your divine partner, you know, like this is happiness. This is peace. This peace. This is joy. This is fulfillment. Look at the Ten of Cups, literally in full bliss, you know, in happiness. Okay. Like, yes, it's going to get ugly, you know, but this is why it gets ugly because you will get that light at the end of that tunnel, you know, and this is what you deserve. And the King of Pentacles to top it off, y'all. 
the top it off. So literally the king of pentacles, you have all this fulfillment and you're literally sitting pretty. You're like, look, I literally have everything that I need. I don't need anything else. Okay. Like you have everything that you need. Pile number two, you do not need to do any blood, sweat or tears or anything like that. Work too hard in order to get it. Like this is literally your reality. By you creating this and you being intentional, you can create this reality. Okay, pile number two. Now, I do um, want to say if you do have any questions for your angels and your spirit guides right now, go ahead and think of that question. And we're going to go ahead and answer that um, that question for you. Okay, so if you need to pause the video, go ahead and do that right now. I'm going to go ahead and get into it. So let's see. Spirit, answer whatever question pile number two needs answering right now. Okay. Spirit, answer whatever question pile number two needs to know or needs answering. Answer whatever question pile number two needs answering. Please and thank you. All right. And I, hey, listen, look, we got a yes. All right, pile number two, that was literally straightforward, okay? There's a yes. So, literally, whatever question that you have regarding a person, place, or a thing, you know, spirit said yes. Spirit said go. You know, you are the only person that is in your way at this time. All right, but that is all I have for you guys today. If this message resonates, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And also share to anybody you feel may need to hear this message right now. I will see you guys next time. Y'all stay flowing, glowing, and growing. Bye. Hello, pal number three. How are you guys doing? So you guys chose the goose and that's all about inner knowing. It says you are a brave traveler. Your soul knows the way. Be confident you will achieve your destination. Loyal friends are always with you. Don't worry. You are blessed. Let yourself fly. All right, pile number three. So what I'm already getting from this card, um, before we get into it with the whole details and stuff like that, I do want to say this is about you trusting your intuition. You already know where you want to go. You already know the destination. You already know the things that you need to do. The, th the problem is you're not doing it. You're not taking the action because you're still worried about, you know, the people outside of you supporting you and whatnot. But spirit is saying you have the support. You have loyal friends that will support you every step of the way. It's just time for you to take the action and fly. You know, it's time for you to soar. It's time for you to step into your power. Your intuition, trust your intuition because that will guide you. Trusting your 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 intuition and trusting your heart that will never leave you lead you astray. Okay, pile number three, it's time for you to be confident and achieve your destination because spirit is saying the time is now. Let's see what else spirit needs to tell you right now, okay? Let's see what it says for goose. All right, so it says journey, life path, stamina, navigation, knowing, bravery, valor, Family, fidelity, loyalty, cooperation, and communication. Geese are remarkable navigators and always find their way. They travel thousands of miles without worry. Geese make decisions based on what is best for the entire flock. If a goose becomes injured, their mate or one of the flock remains behind to provide support until death or recovery. Such loyalty is rare. Geese bind themselves emotionally to their mate, to family, and the flock. When they migrate, they naturally help one another by taking the lead in turns to conserve energy. Geese are not pushovers. They are very aggressive when protecting their young and their nest. If goose is your totem, you will love the excitement of your journey and hear the calling of far off lands. You will forge ahead with confidence and bravery. You are comfortable with change, adventure, and new horizons. Like goose, you will always have the comfort of family and community. There will always be enough because abundance is your birthright. Contrary, are you on your own path or is it a wild goose chase imposed by another? 
Are you feeling the call to move on or change direction? Have you been acting like a silly goose? Do not be distracted from your true course. Okay, pound number three. What I've been hearing for you guys, pound number three, is that you guys are very loyal. And I know how much loyalty, and I just saw five, five, five on the clock right now, but how much loyalty can be one, a blessing and a curse. It can be at your own detriment at the same time. You know, like, yes, it's all good and dandy. Um, you being loyal to, you know, people, places and things. But Spirit is saying it's time for you to be loyal to yourself and your mission and your path. OK, and your journey. OK, because like the goose that you guys are, it's time for you to be loyal and stay the course. You know, all of these distractions, if you're loyal to these distractions, then you're not going to move forward. Forward. You know, you're going to stay in one place. Spirit is saying it's time for you to keep going and stay the course, okay? And even another thing that I see in what I just said, 555 is talked about change. Like it says you guys love change. You guys love adventure. But if you're keeping yourself surrounded by people who don't like change and that has been fighting change, then how are you able to change? You will be miserable if you're staying, if you're remaining stagnant at these, um, in these corporations at these jobs, you know, surrounded by people that are stagnant, um, places and things, you know, all of these things that aren't moving that, you know, want to stay stagnant, that is not going to help your growth. You need to be surrounded by people who also love to grow as well. Okay, pile number three. And yes, I know like it can be a friendship, a relationship, a career that you've been in for years and years. But if it's no longer pushing you to grow, then it's time for a change. Are you willing to change, pile number three? That's the question Spirit is asking. Are you willing to do what's necessary in order to step into your power, in order to see the change that you wish to see? That's what Spirit is trying to tell you, okay? So you answered that question for yourself, pile number three. But I can tell you, change is inevitable. It's time for you to let go, let God surrender to the change and allow Spirit to bring Bring in all the things that will bring you fulfillment. It's nothing to be afraid of. I know we can easily be afraid of the unknown, but it's time for us to just let go and surrender. Okay, trust that you will make it to your destination and trust that your destination is far, far better than where you are now. Okay, pile number three. So now let's see what else Spirit has to tell you guys. Okay. All right, Spirit, what does pile number three need to hear right now? Spirit, what does pile number three need to hear? Get, ooh, there we go. We got two cards. So the first card that came out is a card number 32, and that simplifies to number five. Look, you guys have may be seeing a lot of 555 five, five lately, okay? Because five speaks on change, like I've been saying, okay? So this speaks on, like, I hope you guys haven't been trying to fight this change, okay? Allow this tower to fall, okay? So it says, all at, all is at your fingertips. What has been created by one can be had by all, literally. And I do want to look into this message as well, because... Because this is talking about you being a creator of your reality. You know, what can be created by you can also be had by you. Okay? Because you created that reality. You are the creator of your reality. It's time for you to create a life that you do love. And that's what that has been coming up throughout all of these messages lately. Okay? So, I'm sure if you chose pile number three, you was you know, you were called to another pile as well. So definitely look into one of those other piles, pile number one or pile number two, okay? But you are the creator of your reality. And let's look into what else um, Spirit wants to say regarding this card. So let me see what else. So there might be a message for you guys to hear as well. All right, so it says, manifesting what you want can take time, especially if it is a different direction to which you originally were heading. By focusing on what you want, you keep the direction strong and true. Looking back, wishing for a different result slows your progress in the direction you want. Stay positive and certain of what you want 
and it will appear in your life in divine timing. It is all possible with persistence and clear acceptance that it is yours to have. Whatever has been created by one can be had by all. Nothing is limited to a single being. Neither birth, race, religion, or circumstances excludes others from gaining what they want. This is one true lesson of manifesting divine focus, meaning with spirit, connecting with spirit, wisdom, heart, love, self, personal power. Bringing these together ensures you manifest what is for you. And I'm already saying 111 on the clock right now. So you guys might be saying 1111. That spirit literally telling you, you are on the right path. If like spirit said, if you're being called to a different direction, trust that, okay? And take that step. Take that leap of faith to that different direction. You know, everything that you want to manifest, it will take time. But you have to trust in the divine timing that it will come. And I just saw 12, 12 on the clock. Okay. So literally you guys probably have been seeing a lot of synchronicities lately, you know, whether this is the beginning of your spiritual awakening, because that's usually what happens at the beginning of the spiritual awakening. You notice like everything around you that no longer resonates with you, whether that's a person, place or a thing, whether it's jobs, relationships, friendships, whatever the case may be. And you feel called to go down a different path that you originally had, but it's like, don't fight that feeling, you know, because spirit is calling you into a better divinely guided path, you know, that will bring you more fulfillment. It's time for you to trust that. All right. And once you do create this reality, this is not just for you and your creation. This is for everybody that will come to your, you know, that will come into your vicinity. This is for all your soul tribe that will come help you along your journey, you know, because you're creating this space. But it's time for you to create that space in order for them to come in. And the next card that came out. It's a card number 15, and that simplifies to a six. So I'm seeing five, six. You guys might have been seeing a lot of synchronicities that are counting up or counting down. So four, five, six, or five, six, seven, one, two, three, three, two, one, whatever the case may be. Spirit is saying like it's a countdown or it's counting up to the achievement that you're about to reach, you know? So it says, let it out, let it flow, open up the heart to feel. Okay. So this, this is talking heavily about your feelings, pound number three. So if you guys have been like burying these feelings of, you know, unfulfillment of, you know, not being fulfilled at these jobs, in these relationships, in these friendships, spirit is saying, let these feelings out. Okay. Because they're coming out for a reason. It's time for you to listen to how your heart feels. Listen to how you feel when you're surrounded by person, places, and things, you know, like do they resonate anymore? If they don't resonate anymore, spirit is giving you another sign that this is not where you're supposed to be forever. It's time for you to take that chance, take that leap of faith and move on to something that will bring you that fulfillment. Okay, pawn number three. So now let's see what else spirit wants to tell you guys. All right, spirit, what else does pawn number three need to hear right now? All right, so we got two cards. And you guys might be seeing a lot of 222 two, two lately as well, pile number three. Or even if pile number two may have resonated for you with the butterfly. So definitely check that, that reading out as well. So the first card that came out says, I deserve time to recharge. Pound number three, have you guys been working so hard that you guys aren't even able to listen to the messages or even see the signs and synchronicities? Sometimes we can be caught up into this 3D realm and like into like your job or into all of these distractions that don't even really matter. And spirit is saying you need time to recharge. You need to sit with yourself and you need to figure out like if this job is working for me? Like, is it no longer working for me or is it still working for me? Is this relationship still working for me? Is this friendship still working for me? It's time for you to sit down, recharge, pour into yourself and allow the answers to come to you. Okay. Like, because you aren't, you won't be able to see the messages or even get those nudges if you're still consumed with the distractions of this world. Okay. It's time for you to pour into yourself. And I've been, like, I've been speaking in power number one and pound number two, 
if you need to meditate, go ahead and start meditating, incorporating meditating in your practices and your rituals and stuff. And if meditating actually like sitting down with yourself is hard for you. Um, the trick that I learned from TikTok was rubbing your fingers together and like paying attention to your ridges. This brings your awareness to the present and this allows you to stay present. And it also like helps your brain. Um, it also helps your brain practice that muscle of awareness. So in this, they said the study was able to like find that this helps with, um, they give, it gives you the same result as actually meditating. So if that helps as well, go ahead and try to do that and try to breath work as well. Like sometimes you got to take a moment to get out of the matrix and just like, woo you know, like sometimes that's what you got to do. Okay. Pile number three. And then the second card says, I will not look back only forward. So pile number three, if you guys have been resisting the change and you guys are like, oh, I've been friends with this person for 30 years. I've been friends with this person for 20 years, 10 years, 15, whatever the case may be. I've been at this job for years and years and years. And they've done this, all this, that for me, all this good stuff. Okay. Spirit is saying, we're not saying that they weren't like a pivotal point in your life or this person, place, or thing wasn't a pivotal part point in your life, spirit is saying it's time for you to move on to what you are actually called to do. You need to stay the course. Your mission was not to stay at this job for 30 years. You remain stagnant at this job. You remain complacent in this relationship, in this friendship. Spirit is saying there's better out there for you. You are done. Your assignment is completed with this person, place, or thing. Spirit is saying, do not look back. It's time for you to look forward, okay? I know they brought in so many great memories. I know this job gave you so many benefits and it, over the years, but Spirit is saying you are deviating from your path. It's time for you to stay the course because there's something out there for you and you don't want to miss it, okay, pile number three? So now let's see what else Spirit wants to tell you guys, okay? All right, Spirit, what does pile number three need to hear right now at this time? Also, if you do have any question at this time, go ahead and think about this question because I do have angel cards I'm going to pull at the end. So think of that question and have that question ready, okay? All right, so let's see. Let's see what all comes out. All right, so let's get into this reading. So the first few cards that came out is the Four of Swords in reverse and the Star card. Okay, so what I'm getting from this, I'm definitely getting past her energy. So like I said, like you guys were in this state of upright. Let's talk about it being upright first. You guys were being in this state of victim mentality, of abandonment, of like, you know, woe is me, you know, like everybody has been hurting me. Like I've been in a state of everybody has taken advantage of me, you know, all these different narratives that she created, but look at how these, this, that she, this created this, these thorn like, you know, place that she created for herself is her doing. She is the controller of this. She made this, this nest of darkness of pain for herself you know, so it coming out in the reverse is saying like you are getting out of this mentality and you actually want to see the light. You actually want to see better for yourself and your surroundings and your reality. OK, so you coming out of this energy, you're like, OK, I need guidance. I'm seeking guidance. You're wishing upon a star. You wishing for your angels, gods, your spirit animals, your spirit angels, you know, whatever the case may be. You're wishing upon a star and you're just like, I want to get out of this reality. I want to get out of this life that I created for myself. And although like and it can be as bad as like actually taking yourself out of this pile number three. And I really just don't want to I want to say which is hard for me to say, um, please like keep going. Okay. Pile number three. I know it, it was hard for you guys and I know you guys have to endure so much, but I do want to tell you guys that it does get better. Okay. It does get better. And I know at, the, at this period, you guys were helpless, whether you're going through this now, I want to tell you guys, it does get better than what you have, you've had to endure. And I talked to pile number one, I believe about me watching Jenny and Georgia and they talked 
talk a lot about like self-harm and, you know, all these different things, these topics that people actually need to be listening to because a lot of people have situations where they've gone through stuff like this and, just the awareness of how hard life can get for people, you know, with the circumstances to the point where like they've prayed and like, was just like, I'm just fed up of this life. And they just, they want to, they want to be done with it. But I do want to say pile number three, like it gets better. Okay. Like, yes, you endured the darkness. Yes. You endured the pain. Yes. You had to do all of this in order to survive, but you had to go through the darkness in order to see the light. Okay. And I'm telling you that light is right around the corner. You guys might have just now started experiencing a little glimpse of this light. And sometimes that can be triggering, you know, because you've been going through so much trauma that you you aren't able to see what goodness looks like. But I'm here to tell you, pile number three, you are getting the fruits of your labor. If not now, then soon. And with the next card coming out, the King of Swords and the Ace of Wands and the Temperance. This is talking about balance. First, with the King of Swords, you literally have to go within. And with the owl on a card, it's about speaking on the wisdom. You guys went through so much and had to endure so much. You have so all this knowledge. So now you're reflecting and now you're internalizing all the things that you had to endure. And you're seeing your part that you had to play in that. You know, because it's, it's so easy for us to say like, oh, that person was a narcissist and I'm an empath. And it's just like, no, but like you created this reality. You created the reality that this person had to become a narcissist in order for you to pour into yourself. Okay. So you're now you're seeing the part that you played, the role that you played and why you have to go through these things, why your abandonment issues were triggered, triggered, why all of these, you know, past hurt and pain you had to endure. So now by you internalizing and you seeing with your third eye being unlocked, Ace of Wands, you're able to see and now you're able to vibrate higher and make different choices and and be aligned with different people, people that actually resonates and actually sees you as well. Now you're able to unlock all of these, you know, past hurt and heal them, you know, because you're aware of it with your third eye. Your third eye is open. Now you're seeing things for what it actually is. It's no black and white. It's no good and bad. It just is, you know, all of these things happen, happen in order for me to grow and evolve. Okay. And with temperance coming out, this is balancing your shadow aspects and your light aspects of yourself. Okay. This is you accepting your full self, even that your victim self, even your, 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 um, trauma self, you know, your shadow self, you have to accept both aspect of yourself and you being in balance, not only with your light and shadow, but also with your mind, body, and soul, you know, balancing all of you, you know, in order for you to bring in your manifestations, because you don't want to live your life in victim and hurt and pain. and stuff. No, and you don't want to only live it in only light, you know, because that's not realistic. You live your life in balance. You will have your high highs and you will have your low lows. And that's just the balance of it all. You have to experience the low lows in order to see the light, the seed to see the good. Okay, pile number three. And now with the moon showing up in the hangman, this really just tells you literally what I just said with the yin and yang. Look at the two dogs or is it their wolves? The two wolves, black and white, yin and yang. This is you balancing both your divine masculine and divine feminine energy. Okay. So divine feminine is all about the, with like what she's with the moon, the hidden emotions, the feelings, you feeling what you need to go through and not trying to be analytical about why it's always going through with the masculine this is you taking action so you're feeling these things so now what are you going to do about it okay how are you going to transmute how you're feeling you know you're feeling negative okay feel how you feel with your feminine energy now when it's time use that masculine energy to transmute and take action pour it into your creative endeavors pour it into the things that bring you joy and passion that's how you balance those two energies so that's why with the moon is coming out the moon is gonna shed all those you know 
those hidden emotions that you no longer was looking at. And now it's going to bring it to the forefront in order for you to work with them and understand you better than you ever known. Okay. And with the hangman, now you're getting a different perspective. She's hanging upside down because she's able to see now. She's able to see all her life and see why she had to go through all of these things. She see a different perspective. She understands why I had to go through hurt and pain. So I can channel that into creative artwork that I love, you know, or channel that into a creative project, a podcast, a YouTube channel, a TikTok whatever, you know, whatever the case may be. Now you're able to channel and transmute that energy into light and, uh, and you're able to be a beacon of light for other people to see their lightness, you know, because a lot of people are here and they can't see their lightness and they need people, they need guides in order to show them the lightness that's within them. And pound number three, you have to go through so much in order for you to be that example that people need to see for yourself and for others, okay? So now, if you have that question, go ahead and think of that question right now. We're going to go ahead and answer that for you right now, okay, pound number three? So, Spirit, go ahead and answer whatever questions pound number three may have right now, please and thank you. Oops. Let me get the top card. Let me get one more card, Spirit. All right, so we got two cards. Card number three. So the first card that came out says, it is up to you. It is up to you, pile number three, literally. And the second card that came out says, trust. So pile number three, Spirit is saying, you need to trust yourself. You have everything that you need. Trust yourself that you are capable of making the decision that you need to make, okay? Like I said, pile number three, I've been having to tell y'all about letting go of people, places, and things that no longer serve you. Trust that you will be okay once you do this. Trust that you are okay now to make the decision that you are going to make. You know, it is up to you to be the change that you wish to see, pile number three. All right, but that is all I have for you guys today. If this message resonates, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And also share to anybody you feel may need to hear this message right now. I will see you guys next time. Y'all stay flowing, glowing, and growing. Bye!